very excited about the impact that next generation sequencing has already had on the field of oncology. It's allowed us insights into molecular landscapes of many different tumour types and as a result of that many treatments have been developed and are now standard of care for my patients. So we can still do better and what I envisage for my patients in the future is NGS information that will help me stratify them in terms of their risk for follow-up but also in terms of the likelihood of benefiting from treatment or even developing toxicity from treatment. These tumours are very um, heterogeneous and they've got a very complex microenvironment so single RNA sequencing enables us to look at each cell on an individual level and a completely unbiased level. I think we're really moving into a space now where personalised genomics is becoming much more widely accepted and with the revelation of next generation sequencing I think that people are really starting to adopt um, the technology as a method for um, uh, developing diagnostics. So over the last years we have realised how important the immune system is in controlling tumour development and also um, that we have now the means to reactivate uh, immunity against cancer as part of our therapeutic approach against tumours. Uh, the main challenge that we are facing now is to find the right time in giving a specific drug. So uh, chronobiology is uh, a way to go and uh, sequencing may improve our understanding of circadian rhythm and how its impact on the efficacy of specific drugs. In the, in the diagnostic setting we're already selecting patients uh, to be administered certain drugs based on uh, profiles determined by next generation sequencing and we're also identifying hereditary disorders through next generation sequencing and you really see that the latest developments will also support the development of, of novel therapies and to find biomarkers. Genomics will be important in the future at uh, uh, three major levels. First of all, uh, the genomics of the cancer cells themselves uh, that will uh, allow us to uh, uh, understand what's going on in, uh, in the oncogenic process, how it evolves with time, how we can target it and how we can modulate it. Secondly, the genomics of the host of the patient himself, which is today still mostly a black box. And finally, it will allow us to unveil the problem of heterogeneity in the cancer itself during between primary and metastatic sites within each site uh, in this integration of these various parameters in which genomics is only one part, but is the governing part, obviously, of what is going on, uh, will be an essential part of the development of the future. Thank you.